Great. Thanks, guys. Yeah, as promised, Joseph Nakla uh, joining us today from Tribe Property Technologies, CEO, in fact, of uh, Tribe. Uh, great to have you, Joseph. This is an interesting approach to property management as we teed it up a little bit earlier, a technology-focused approach to property management. Uh, give everyone an introduction to uh, Tribe. Yeah, good morning. It's so good to be with you. Tribe is a company that's really obsessed about modernizing and digitizing the way we live in our communities. We uh, built a suite of holistic software products that are intended to help people that live in condos or rental communities to frankly come into the 21st century, to have ease uh, uh, by way of finding information, accessibility, communicating with your stakeholders and your neighbors. And uh, we've been uh, obviously listed for three, four months now, but really our absolute focus is expanding our footprint in delivering a, a management service offer that's different than the traditional model available currently for Canadian condos. So when we say technology focus, tell everyone, what are we talking about here? You know, and how does that differ from a traditional property management company? Uh, anyone who lives in a building, as I do, as I mentioned uh, earlier, Joseph, you know, we're, we're used to the hands-on approach. What does it mean when we say a technology focused property management firm? Well, that's a great question. We start by digitizing everything in the community. I'm talking uh, if it's a brand new community and we work with the developer for inception, we actually digitize every single aspect of the home itself, the bathrooms, the different faucets, the color that's been chosen, every aspect of the building right through to the HVAC system and all the amenities that may be available. And then as you probably know, living in a condo, there's a set of laws and bylaws that everybody that lives in the community have ad to adhere to. And these laws and, and, and bylaws really introduce complexity associated with workflows. That's why usually when you ask the question, how is your management company or how is your experience in your condo? A lot of people, you know, have, oh, it's, you know, I have to call people five, six times. I have to email four or five times. So what we've done is we've taken a lot of these workflows. I'm talking hundreds of workflows and made them simple and kind of Uberized them by way of introducing them to you on, on your own app. That's very exclusive to you. That's very focused on your needs as a homeowner as a, or a, a tenant. And that also is smart enough to be able to communicate and start and finish all those workflows in the back in the back office. What is most unique about us is that we don't ignore the property management requirement uh, that is needed. So we actually have property managers, we call them community managers in our, uh, in our uh, buildings. Uh, those community managers actually are just as licensed uh, and have the pedigree that is existing in a traditional property management company, but the difference is they're trained to actually conduct the service based on these workflows, which really translates into a lot more digitization, a lot less touch for the homeowners and the, and the you know, uh, condo corporations that are managing on behalf of the owners, uh, uh, their, their funds, uh, all the funds are actually significantly available for everybody to see. The transparency is there. And then finally, obviously, what we do is we leverage the amount of information we have about the community and the digital relationship we have with every homeowner to curate and deliver them specific products and services that are needed potentially to, to enhance the way they live in their in their home or at least get some things required, such as insurance, mortgages, and so on. The company's had uh, a tremendous uh, year and uh, past couple of years, in fact, growing to the fifth largest in this space in both the con uh, condo management uh, side and also institutional rental uh, side of things as well. Uh, Two-part question here. What does is, what is the company attribute this amazing growth to? And then tell us about some uh, recent acquisitions as well in the M&A space. Yeah, great question. I mean, first of all, uh, a big shout out to our incredible team that continues to grow for, for doing all the heavy lifting and delivering incredible results. Um, and just to kind of orient your audience a bit, uh, January 2018, we were out to the market with nothing under management. Uh, and as of today, we've got more than $12 billion of assets under management. So we're, we've been really blessed with the trust of the of the market and the belief in the service delivery that we're doing. But to answer your question about the growth, we've seen incredible organic growth. This is communities, either rental communities or, or condo communities that you know, with the pandemic and everything around it, kind of realize, you know, there's got to be a better way. I shouldn't be talking to people to do something simple or get historical information or or connect with somebody to get something done. So uh, digital transformation has become in the forefront of our growth on the organic side. And then we've also asked ourselves the question a couple of years ago, 
can we buy traditional property management companies and put our technology and service delivery in it and actually convert into the service delivery model that we've got? And the answer, thankfully, after uh, six, uh, six acquisitions is yes. So we, we've been uh, on, a, on, a, on an M&A uh, uh, kind of uh, spree whereby we're identifying great, great uh, property management companies, bringing them into our ecosystem, rebranding them, putting our technology and services in there. And that probably is one of the bigger reasons why we've seen the uh, the revenue growth that you referenced. Speaking of uh, the revenue side of the business here, Joseph, tell everyone, you mentioned earlier, you know, the multiple different aspects of the company and the way that you generate uh, business. Let's talk about where that revenue comes from and the different uh, aspects that, you know, set the company aside uh, from traditional companies. Yeah, that's a, that's a good question. Um, we have three pillars in our revenue streams. Uh, first pillar is our recurring uh, revenue, which is what we call MRR or ARR, monthly recurring revenue. And that's a very sticky business. This is whereby we have contracts that pay us monthly for, for conducting all the services. What's unique about us is we do not uh, charge extra for our software for these communities. We, if you come to us, you get the whole solution with all of our applications available to, to you from a service point of view. Second bucket of services, what we call transactional uh, revenue. And transactional revenue really is embedded within our applications. Uh, once you are in the community and you manage it, and some people you know, will move in, will move out, will sell their unit, will buy a unit in our communities uh, and as our home, as, as they do that, um, they require information, they require documentation. In some cases, they want to pay rent using their credit card uh, or, or, a, or a different uh, mode of, of payment. Those are those are called transactional revenues. That represents about 20% of our, our revenue. The first line item was about 70% of our revenue. And then finally, we've got a, a revenue stream that's just, we just directed that division. We're very excited about and I alluded to earlier. It's a division that goes out and actually seeks and curates partnerships, what we call digital partnerships with service providers that can bring smart building technology to our communities, uh, smart home technology to our, <clears throat> excuse me, to our homeowners, um, or the ability to go out there and actually take advantage of our group buying power and do uh, partnerships with EV providers for our, uh, for our homeowners or our communities, in addition to, and, and you'll see more and more of those types of stuff like insurance, uh, uh, mortgages and so on and so forth. So it's a it's a long list of arg arguably unlimited list of partnerships that we want to bring in due to the amount of information we have about the home and the building and really give our homeowners and our buildings an opportunity to lower the cost of living by choosing and leveraging our group buying power. The company trades on the Venture Exchange here in Toronto under the ticker TRBE. Joseph Nakla, CEO of Tribe Property Technologies. Uh, a very interesting concept. We thank you uh, for your time and, and appreciate you doing this today. Thank you so much. Great to be with you. Have a great day. There we go, guys. Uh, TRBE on the venture.